I feel it's fitting. Actually, I got the wrong shirt on. Crap. <laughs> What's going on out there, YouTube family? This is Sammy Lego representing Team JVS back here again for another DC Universe premiere, episode one of Harley Quinn. So, I don't know if you guys know, the first season of Harley Quinn was vulgar, violent, bloody, insane, would never work in a comparable comic book or movie universe but it worked in space. The first season of Harley Quinn, probably one of the best animated shows that they've made since, man, what, since uh, Young Justice, honestly. Um, it was very good. Like, it was insanely weird. Like, they went and delved deep into the core of what their version of Harley Quinn's backstory is. They tweaked it with certain things. Then they made, like, characters, like, iconic in their own right differently. Like, Bane, even in this first episode, like, he is hilarious. <laughs> Sitting in his little, <laughs> his little chair, he was, like, giving him crap. But, I mean, they just made so many great moves with the first season, and then they capitalized off this. I feel like they had to have made a very long season. They kind of like, you know what, let's spread this out and make it into two seasons. Either way, we're not going to be upset about it, because the first episode was just as gory, just as insane, just as crazy as the first season. Like, if this is an embodiment of what the rest of the season is going to be, this is going to be more insane than the first season because <clears throat> now the city is falling, effectively. The first season, one of the things was kind of like this runoff joke, like Batman working with Commissioner Gore. Commissioner Gore is like this alcoholic, like, like, messed up man. <laughs> um, uh, Damien uh, Wayne is Robin. They never showed Dick Grayson, I don't think, as Nightwing or Tim Drake or anybody else. So that might play a role in this season. I hope so, all honesty. Um, but it was kind of like Batman was there in the scenes and he was kind of stopping stuff. But it's kind of like, it was, just, it was very dry comedy. And I just loved it. Uh, very tongue and key. Uh, but the thing about this one is like, the city is effectively falling from the finale of the last season. Now, spoiler alert, if you hadn't seen it, and this is where I said that this wouldn't work in continuity of anything with the comics or anything, because the Joker was effectively killed. Just like this episode, they effectively killed a major villain, which I was really surprised by. Um, but the city itself was literally, from that point, it lost Batman, lost the Joker, and everything was awry and the opening of it, the president's like, yeah, the Gotham City is no longer considered to be a part of the United States. Now, this is the other thing about this. There is a Justice League. Why would Superman not be involved in this, right? They, they even brought up in Justice League. So I'm curious to see if they're going to integrate other heroes outside of the norm, like they normally do. Because they brought in Aquaman, I think, last season. Of course, Batman. Of course, Wonder Woman. But I don't remember Superman being any way involved. But either way, it just allows for so many other things to kind of happen. And this, honestly, is what I was looking to see in The Birds of Prey and Emancipation of One Harley Quinn. That's what I thought what this was going to be. When they said that that was going to be rated, I was like, yo, if it's anything like this, they're going to win. And it's kind of like the Birds of Prey movie, where it was serviceable in a certain sense and very fun in a certain sense. They really didn't need it to be rated R because it wasn't made to be rated R. Like, it was very much so PG-13, and there was no point to any of the violence that was in it versus, like, really going for it, kind of like something like Deadpool. And, of course, this show. And that's one of the things about this show. Like, bro, it's violent, bro. It's bloody violent. Like, it is vulgar. Like, things are just happening. Like, <laughs> that interaction with David and <laughs> Commissioner Gordon, I was like, man, I was feeling from Commissioner Gordon. He was like, bro, I'm, I'm giving up. Like, I... At this point, I'm like, I don't even know. I was, I was hurting for him. But then Harley, she still... One of the things about last season that, in comparison to this season, is that last season, she was trying to get out from underneath the shell of um, the Joker. And it's kind of like, she didn't want to be anybody's patsy anymore. She wanted to be her own. But one of the other things about that is like also becoming your own individual, like making your own stance. And she was just like, she didn't want to do that anymore. She was like, no, everybody should just be able to do whatever they want. She's like, no, like there has to be someone taking the lead. There has to be someone taking the charge. And she didn't do that. And so instead, it created this whole different faction. 
Um, it just, I think it was really dramatic, really interesting effect because then they able to put like a two year, two month gap into this where anything honestly could have happened in between that time. Either way, I'm gonna definitely say this was a really good first episode. I'm about to check out the next episode very soon. Hope you guys enjoyed this review. I'll talk to you guys soon. Make sure you like, subscribe, hit that bell button. If you guys want more reviews of this or anything else, let me know in the comment section below. Peace guys.